I wanted to portray the sacred of the landscape. I'm a fourth generation Idaho native, and I've just really bonded and rooted to the land here. It was uh, the mid 90s. I met a, an artist named Tom Sheffs, and uh, he taught me a method a very traditional 19th century method of painting and it just made sense to me. It just made total sense. I block in all my colors first and I do that in order to get a sense of depth in the canvas. When you start with the darks, you it's like the key in music. I, you establish a base there and then you can play off of that all through the painting. Tom wanted me to go meet a painter in eastern Idaho. So we went over and took a workshop from him. And uh, about halfway through the workshop, we were at a Chinese restaurant. And I explained to Tom that I'm glad I came. I can see what it takes to make it. And I don't have what it takes. You know, I'll paint for a hobby, but I'm through chasing the dream. And I got a fortune cookie. I've got it framed up here on the wall behind me in the studio. And the fortune cookie says, art is your fate, don't debate. And the next morning we went up to Mesa Falls and I did this wonderful little painting of Mesa Falls, which I still have. And I've been even more serious after that. I would say post COVID, my paintings take a little longer because I've, start, I've started putting figures in more of my paintings. I had uh, three months of cancer radiation treatments that ended the day the governor shut the state down. So that period really put me a lot more in touch with my mortality. And isolation, I all of a sudden had, I became the monk out here in my studio. And my paintings became much more sacred. And then that's when it occurred to me to start taking a little more time to tell a story instead of just doing a very quick impression. Now it was more time to make a few more complete sentences. Just a minute, just a minute, Danica. My little black and white dog had recently died, and I was working on a painting, a big painting, a big panorama of the sawtooths, and I put a little tiny guy with his little black and white dog walking beside him, and I, and I called the painting a, a Sawtooth Soulmates, and uh, it's one I, I sold, I had, you know, that's what I do, I sell paintings, but this is one I kind of wish I hadn't sold. Art and the desire to produce art has been a part of me all my life. Now it's, it's who I am before I'm me. It's, you know, I, I breathe, I eat, and I paint. It's that much a part of my core now.